All right, Shalom, Akim, first and foremost, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashim, Wakakudash, and double honor to the apostles and others, a great millstone, their rule well and teach well, and sincere salutations unto the hopeful elect out there pushing the truth and sincerity. All right, Shalom. So this is Brother Manantajak coming back with another lesson. All right, so this one is go uh, starting, well, Psalms 2 and 1. All right. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? All right. And that's mainly talking about uh, Esau Edom, man. All right. And they, and the, the heathen and the people, man, talking about Esau Edom, man. All right. They imagine a vain thing, which is that to, our, to microchip the whole world, man. To have that future dystopia, uh, that technological dystopia, all right, where they in rule, all right, they got everybody chip, all right. So if you're not uh, on top of that one percent, all right, you at the bottom. You one of their slaves, man. Ultimately, to try, all right, to say, oh yeah, we are the guys. You have to obey us. So they think themselves, all right, to be guys, man. All right, so they imagine to rule everybody who has that chip. All right. Ultimately, they trying to chip. They want them. Uh, they want you, Jakes, man. You so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics. They want y'all to be chipped at this time, man. But, all right, the Most High have set a time that they cannot pass. All right. Joel four and five. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So the Most High has appointed him bounds that he cannot pass, man. All right, there's going to be a day, a month, and an hour, mainly probably uh, when the sun, like high noon, man, where this devil is going to be taken down, man. And he's and after that, he's not going to pass, man. All right, his kingdom was set up to uh, be destroyed. So this devil thinks he's going to market chip the whole world. But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right, is going to ruin that enterprise, man. He's gonna ruin their hand. Hey, he's gonna throw a wrench in their enterprise so they can't perform. Alright, pursuing the Job uh, 5 and 12, I believe. Yeah, kind. Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. See? Alright? So the devices of the crafty, man, is to mark and chip the whole world, to, put their, to have everybody in slavery under them. All right, to have a technological dystopia, all right, where everything is just technology, man. So they trying to basically think they can do better than the Most High, man. But you can't perfect what the Most High already perfected, man. Yahweh created everything in perfection. All right, in uh, Genesis he said he saw everything and it was perfect. So how can you perfect anything that Yahweh bosh and Yahweh shop make? You can't, man. And that's what these devils think they can do. By market chip and everybody talking about they ain't gonna come uh, coming with uh oh you know if you get this market chip you're gonna be like superheroes you're not gonna be like superheroes man you're just gonna be a robot slave man who has a chip in you and if you don't do what they say all right they take away your money take away take away your life take away your insurance and you're you're thrown out of that society man so what kind of life is it all right so if you if you plan on taking that chip, man, you're going to eat a missile. Or you're going to eat a missile, man. Because those are the weapons of your Bashim Yahweh Shah indignation, man. All right, so those who are going to be delivered are the saints of your Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So these other. It's a lot. These other nations, man, if you're not of the of nation of Israel, man, you so called Negroes, Native Americans, and Hispanics. All right, you're not going to be delivered. All right, mostly the two thirds also who are not going to be delivered because they refuse to repent, man. All right, but uh, getting off topic. All right, read on. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is coming is carried headlong. All right, so yeah, man. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah right, is going to ruin all right their enterprise, man, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So he's going to throw a wrench in that plan, which is ultimately how it's shot, man. So while they thinking that they got everybody, they got so many billions chipped, all right? 
Hey, the Most High is going to send you how a shot. Like, all right, it's time. Destroy that king. All right, because the Most High is not with this place, man. Because they walk contrary unto the most unto the heavenly Father Yahweh, they keep none of the laws, none of the statutes, none of the commandments, none of His judgments. All right, they are the border of wickedness, man. All right, uh, give me one second. All right, so pursuing, so pursuing really the Obadiah. All right, matter of fact, no, Malachi Salaki. Let me get that real quick. Malachi, because they are the border of wickedness, and so therefore when they came back, all right. Renaissance time, all right. They spread all their philosophies, man. All they um, their false doctrines, man. All right, uh, Malachi. One might be one and four. All right, kind Malachi one and four. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. So they built their kingdom, man. All right. Right now, hey, Yahweh is getting ready to throw down with these Edomites, man. But ultimately, he's going to send Yahweh shot to destroy the rest of this place, man. All right. This place is going to be nothing. All right. Everything in Babylon the Great, so-called America, all right, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, is going. everything here is going to be melt with fervent heat, man. All right, so if you're not in this truth, man, and if you're not doing this work, ultimately, if you're not chosen of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right, you will be melt along with those uh, elements, man. All right, read on, and they shall cat, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, man. All right, and the border, and who are the border of wickedness, man? Esau, Edom, they built they um, they built all this this they all they built Babylon in America off of blood. Off of bloodshed, off of deceit, all right, off of killing some innocent people, man, lies, everything, man. All right, they got everything by riches. It's a lot. Uh, riches with deceit. All right, so now you how about shooting how a shot? Has an indignation with them, man. Well, he been <coughs> to like you. He's been had an indignation towards Esau Edom, man. Like it said back in, uh, I believe Exodus, when we came out of the wilderness, Amalek wouldn't even let us cross. All right, Amalek, which is Esau Edom, man. Amalek is a chief tribe of Esau. All right, but Amalek, all right, wouldn't even let us go past the land. All right, they tried to attack us. All right, that's why it says the people against whom the Lord Yahweh. Hath indignation forever. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah had indignation for the for it against what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah had an indignation towards Esau Edom, man. All right, like it says says in Romans nine and thirteen, uh, for it has written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right. So that's just showing you, man, that they that they are set in bounds that they cannot pass, man. This kingdom was built. Yahweh set this king set up Esau just to destroy Esau, man. All right. Also to punish Israel for our iniquities, man. All right. But getting back into the lesson, all right. So that wicked imagination, man. That vain imagination that they have is to chip everybody. All right. And that's pursuant to uh, Revelation thirteen and sixteen. We'll start at verse fifteen. So Revelation chapter 13 verse 15 And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast That the image of the beast should speak And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast Should be killed man So if you're not worshiping Esau, Edom And their um, new society You're going to be killed Alright uh, Verse 16 And he caused it all both small and great Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right, so they're gonna cause so many people, all right, to receive that mark. And you're gonna have some jakes out there who willingly take it. All right, but ultimately, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah said in uh, Revelation three and ten, all right, that he's gonna keep us from the hour of temptation, man, which goes into the mark of the beast, man. All right. Uh, 
uh, reading on. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell. So if you don't take that chip, man, you can't buy or sell. All right? You can't go to the store, get what you want. You can't have a home. Because they're going to cast you out of this society, man. Which is what you should want. You, you shouldn't want to be part of society that's going to go down. All right? But this is only for you Jakes out there, man. That the next society that's coming is the kingdom of Israel, man. Where Yahweh shall ruling. And Israel ruling by his side, and uh, the elect man ruling by his side, then you gonna have the rest of Israel, man. Why these Edomites and slavery building up our kingdom, man? So you should be looking forward toward forward for the uh, downfall of Esau's kingdom, man. Hell, I know I am. <laughs> uh, excuse my uh, Swedish. All right, finishing on. Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, man. So if you look on the barcode, it has three three uh barcode lines that has that has not a number under them, and that represents that six six six, man. All right, and that's it, and that leads back to one of the uh you know, back to one of the owners like the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and all them, man. All right. So this is right here is that imagine that vain thing that they imagine, man. All right, to rule over the whole world, man. To microchip the whole world, to have everybody microchip, especially you uh, Israelites out there, man. You Jakes. All right, but you how about some how shot? It's not gonna allow them, man. Right here, uh, Psalms twenty one and eleven. For they intended they intend evil against thee. They imagine a mischievous device. And that mischievous device we just read about was the RFID chip, man. The mark of the beast. Alright. Which they are not able to perform, man. So back in Job uh, 5 and 12, it said he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. And that's their enterprise. To have the whole world microchip. Alright. But Yahweh Shemyahusha is not going to allow them to perform that, man. All right, they're not gonna make. They're not gonna be able to make make it to uh you know enjoy it. Cause why? Cause why they're trying to enjoy it? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is gonna let Yahweh Shah come back and destroy the rest of this place, man. All right, pursuing to um, it's a lot. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Uh, uh right here, Job twenty and twenty three. Well, start at twenty. Surely he so this is Job twenty and twenty. Surely he shall not quiet he should not feel quietness in his belly. He should not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left, therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rend it upon him while he is eating. So while he is eat, while Esau, you know, chilling out, thinking he didn't, uh, uh, he has done all that he wish he had to do. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua gonna come, all right, and send, he gonna send them uh, RFID, I mean, uh, Salakia, them ICBM missiles over to uh, Babylon the Great, and it's gonna turn into the lake of fire, man. All right, everything is going to be dissolved with fervent heat coming from them uh, ICBM missiles that all these other nations are going to launch upon Babylon the Great. All right, so him him trying to achieve his uh you know his enterprise is going to lead actually to his downfall. All right, so he's not going to be able to to perform all right that enterprise man because the pride of his heart is this because Esau is a prideful man. Is a prideful beast, as I should say. All right, and that and that it deceives him, man. All right, this is Obadiah chapter one verse three. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs and the rock. Hence, all right, you when you uh, a lot of these Edomites call themselves Caucasian, man, and that Caucasian goes back to the word cave dweller. So that's letting you know right there that they. Are those border of wickedness, those that dwell us in the cliffs and the rocks, all right, whose habitation is on high, it's because they got them satellites up out in space, man, watching 
for the for the return watching for them you were for uh the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Sha. Alright. And pretty much trying they got they sending now they sending up uh out there to like to shoot at the uh the um the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Sha. Alright. We know back in Obadiah one verse three that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground. Alright. So Go into Revelation 12 and 7. All right, uh, he made war in heaven with uh, Michael and his angels, man. And the Mike, Michael and his angels fought against all right, the the beast, which is uh, Esau's Edom military. But they ain't gonna prevail, man. All right, so y'all about Shimmy Howard Shah is gonna bring him down to the ground, man. All right, even though he that's that pride, man, he feel as if he's not gonna be defeated, he feels that he's not gonna be destroyed. But he's gonna be casted to the ground, man. Or right, he's gonna go sit in the dirt. Alright. So get that in Isaiah. So this is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Alright, that virgin daughter, she and that and it says a virgin daughter because you have never seen this place or right, a war be fought over in Babylon. This place has never seen war. Alright, this place has never been fought in. Alright. So that's why it's a virgin, man. It hasn't been touched. But soon, the ICBM missiles, all right, is going to destroy this place, man. So it's going to be touched. And it's not going to be anymore America, Babylon the Great, this Sodom, this Sodom uh, society, this do as I will society. This place is going to be destroyed. All right, read on. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou, hast, thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. So there, so this place gonna get destroyed, man. So this place is not gonna be delicate anymore. This place is not gonna be tender. It's gonna be destroyed. It's gonna be a place of habitation and ha for habitations of animals and devils, man. All right, this place is gonna be a wasteland. All right, because the, how about Shimmy how Shah finna bring their pride down low, man? All right, y'all about Shimmy how Shah is bringing down. This prideful kingdom and finna set up the meek kingdom, man. Which is Yahweh Shah's kingdom, man. Alright, so we come into that time where alright, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is finna bring down alright the kingdom of Esau. Alright, bear with me one second. Lucky. But he's finna bring but hey Yeah how about Shimmy how shots finna bring down Esau's kingdom man Alright matter of fact let me see if I can bring that he said it he bring it down the prowl and set it up another Because it's a few pictures that I wanted to get. So this is Ecclesiastic. So this is Syrac. Chapter. Syrac. Chapter 10. Verse. You know what? Start at verse 13. So this is going back, you know, to Esau and his pride, man. And how he's going to be destroyed because of that pride. And because he thinks he is the most high. But he's not, man. All right, so this is uh, Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10, verse 13. For the pride is the beginning of sin. Hey, and, yeah, and Esau, Edom, man, hey, he is the man of, of sin. His whole... This whole nation is a nation of sin, man. That that follow not the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, don't keep the uh, Sabbath. They don't do nothing to them, man. They don't believe in. They don't believe in Yahweh. They try to. They want to break their bands asunder, man. 
all right to cut to cut themselves off from Yahweh so they can be their own gods but they can't man they're nothing but basement cavemen all right Re, uh so reading on back in 13 uh ecclesiasticus chapter 13 i mean uh chapter 10 verse 13 i read on and he that hath it shall pour out abomination and this and this kingdom of esau it have been pouring out many abominations man all right they done made it to where a lot of a lot of niggas in this world man think it think it's cool to lay with another man's wife or they think it's cool to kill they people they think it's cool to sell drugs to their own moms all right and then a lot of these women think it's cool to have multiple men or put a man on child support even when he's trying to do good for his kids all right this place all right, pours out many abominations, man. Sodom, sodomite, sodomite is shit, man. Excuse my sweet, excuse my Swedish, Swedish, man. All right, but this place is an abomination, man. Worshiping the devil, all right. F worshiping false gods that doesn't speak, eat, nor breathe. All right, this place is a place of abomination, man. That's why if you're in this truth, man, we not of this world, man. Cause we not we follow not nor conform form to the ways of these of this world or this society. Alright, cause this society stands against everything Yahweh Shimi Shah stands for. So if we with Yahweh Shimi Shah, we stand against this society, this abomination, man. Alright, read on. And therefore the Lord Yahweh brought them, brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly, man. And Yahweh Shimi ultimately bring upon them a hey, this COVID-19 the murder of hornets uh tiger uh tiger mosquitoes a hey, and these uh and the new sickness that's uh you know killing children now yeah how about she now shy bringing upon them these strange calamities man all right and overthrew them utterly and y'all about she now shy finna overthrow them by sending ICBM missiles over into this into Babylon the Great man all right, and destroying this place utterly. All right, leaving it a desolation, a habitation of animals and devils. All right, read on verse fourteen. The Lord Yahweh hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set it and set up the meek in his stead, man. So Yahweh Hashem Yahweh finna cast down our right, Esau Edom, man, that proud prince. All right, that basement. All right, that cave dweller. He's finna cast down their their thrones, man. And what it say back in Isaiah 47? All right. Uh, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, man. All right. So y'all watching y'all shots taking away their throne, man. There's no more throne for them, man. But uh, while he's taking down, all right, Esau's Edom kingdom, he's raising up, all right, the tabernacle of David, man. All right. He's raising up the kingdom of Israel. All right. And set up, and we're that meek, man. And set up the meek in the in their stead, all right. So he's setting us up, all right, in their stead, man. All right, especially the brothers and a few sisters are in this truth, man. He's setting us up, all right, to inherit the kingdom, that everlasting peace, everlasting life, man. Where Edomites, all these other he, where all these heathen nations are our slaves, man. All right, where they can't do nothing but serve us, all right, after a certain period. But after a certain period. Esau is going to get destroyed, man. Every single one of them are going to get destroyed. All right, matter of fact, hey, it says in the scriptures. Uh, let me see if I can get it real quick. All right, Khan. So this is Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall be... And there shall and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken. So, hey, they're gonna be utterly cut off, man. So after they serve that thousand year period of servitude and hardcore slavery, they're gonna be cut off. There's ne there's not gonna be any Edomite in sight, man. All right, there's a hey, Edom Esau is gonna remain to cease, man. They're gonna be brought to naught. There's not going to be any remaining of them after that thousand year, thousand year uh, period of slavery. All right, they're going to be building up our kingdom, man. <laughs> hey, we, hey, and I'm talking. We're going to have spiritual powers. Yahweh Zah. All right, and I say this humbly. 
Yahweh Rath Zah, we are the hopeful elect. All right, we're gonna inherit the kingdom, man. We're gonna be living like kings, brothers. All right, but read on. All right, uh, verse fifteen. The Lord Yahweh hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations, and He's plucking up the root, man. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is bringing up the roots of Esau and Edom, man. All right, and planted the lowly in their place. All right, and Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, all right, is planting us, man. The brothers and sisters that are in His truth, all right, He's planting us, all right, in their place, man. We're finna inherit. We finna go back to Jerusalem, man. We finna inherit Israel again, man. We're finna be, all right. We finna keep the laws, statutes, and commandments perfectly, all right. According to Jeremiah thirty-one and thirty-one, all right. He's gonna write it, the laws, statutes, and the commandments in our inward parts, man. So we're never gonna sin again, all right. So we're gonna be ruling the earth alongside Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man, our Lord and Savior. Read on. Uh, verse 16, the Lord Yahweh overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. All right, didn't I say in Obadiah that they that there shall be no more of uh, Esau Eden? Hey, he's going to destroy them to the foundations of the earth, man. Just like their kingdom is going to be destroyed to the foundations of the earth. Because there's nothing going to be left here, man. All right, so all these Edomites, man, they have a rude awakening, man. Their kingdom and their enterprise is going to be ruined, man. They're not going to be able to perform that enterprise. They may be able to get so far, but Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah said it abounds that they cannot pass, man. So this is it. All right, for you Edomites, man. This is your last hurrah, man. All right, before you get destroyed. All right, because this we come into that time where, all right, where, hey, matter of fact, this is a time to kill and a time, hey, matter of fact, it'd be better if I just read the scriptures, man, because the scriptures speak. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Alright. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up. So you how about Shimmy how was shot? Alright, plucking up Esau's Edom Kingdom, man. Alright. He's plucking up Esau's Edom Kingdom. And that which is planted. So East so Yahweh Bashim Yahushua planted Esau, man. But now he's gonna get ready and pluck them right back up. Alright, and put them in slavery. Alright. And they in that time to plant, alright, is Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Alright, planting uh Israel once again, choosing us to be his nation, man. Alright. Letting uh, you know, putting us in rulership, setting us up to be kings of the earth, to inherit the galaxies, man. All right, so Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to allow us to inherit everything, man. All right, and that's why we got we ought to give praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, man, because He's doing all this for us. All right, we're not doing this of ourselves. Yahweh Shem Yahweh is doing everything, man. All this is His will. All right, and that's why we ought to praise the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, with all our might, with all our soul, and love Him with all our soul and our mind, man. Because he's planning us up and destroying our enemies, man. All right. Reading, reading down. Verse 3. A time to kill and a time to heal. So while he's killing Esau's Edom's kingdom, man, he's healing the those who are in the truth, man. He's healing us, man. All right. Taking away some of these curses and putting it on our enemies. All right. Pursuant to Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Uh, all right. Reno, you know, a time to break down and a time to build up. So he's breaking down Esau's kingdom and he's building up Israel's kingdom, man. Yahweh Shah's kingdom. All right. A time to weep and a time to laugh. So right now we're in that time. Hey, we we are weeping, man. But in our in, in our heart, man, in our mind, we're rejoicing because we're going to inherit the kingdom. All right, but we're weeping because we know we got to endure and go through some hell during Jacob's trouble, man. But in the kingdom, we're going to laugh, man. We're going to be merry and have abundance, man. All right. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. 
and he's casting Esau's Edom uh, stones away, man. That kingdom. All right, and he's gathering his elect, man. All right, how about some y'all shots gathering his elect, man, by this word, by this truth, by this, by this uh, doctrine, man. All right. Uh, stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain. A time to refrain from embracing. Verse 6, a time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. All right. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh getting his elect man and, his, and the one third. All right. And he's losing. All right. And he's getting rid of. All right. Esau Edom's kingdom, man. All right. Reading on. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sue. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Alright, so this is just showing you, man. We come into the times where Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is casting away Esau's kingdom and setting up Israel, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah loved Israel and he chose us to be his special people, man. Hey, for that, man, we ought to, we ought to give more and more praise unto the Heavenly Father, man. All right, because he's using his prophets to speak, man. He's using his prophets to bring out these pro uh, prophecies, man, to help understand the scriptures, man. All right, like I said, it's right, uh, right upon tables and make it plain so that he that reads can run. So we're making this plain. We're breaking down these scriptures for you. We're making it to where you can understand them. Starting with Apostle to harden on down, you know, Yahweh all right, that we be of the elect, man. Because we hope to be of that number, man. We hope to be saved, to have be delivered from our the uh Jacob's trouble, from the RCBM missiles. That's the All right. But I don't want to make this uh video, this lesson too long. But with that, Yahweh Zah, you brothers and sisters that will listen, were edified. And again, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakah Hakudash. And double honors to the apostles and others of great millstone that rule well and teach well. And sincere salutations to all the uh, hopefully elect out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Alright, till the next time, Shalom.